So we've just got one more thing again to do. Now, to make this character point the other way, we go to the master, size x minus one, and he turns around. Um, don't really need to worry about uh, what this character looks like is because when we're rendering in material, he's fine either way. Size X minus one. So, so that's something we don't have to worry about. The other, the thing we have to worry about though, is if he moves backwards. So if I go size Z minus one, he looks a bit weird. So what we need to do is go back into the Ash mesh mode, control L on the head, shift D, Z, and we're going to move it behind his head. And we are going to assign the material. I have no idea. Hair. Hair, assign. Okay. The next bit we're going to do is we're going to grab his belt and such. Shift D. D, Z, and we just got to make sure it goes behind his legs, and I will just bring his legs a little bit forward, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select these, size Z, just so they're a bit closer, and we will plop it about there, and we will do the same for the other leg, control L, size Z. There we go. And let's bring that up. And unfortunately, we still see a little bit of the legs there. So let's get the body. Shift D Z. And it is sitting just above it, which is exactly what we want. So now, technically, let's go back into material. Size Z minus one. And that's kind of the back of his head. Um, the legs will probably be a little bit different. Oh, but we can work that around that. So let's select the back here. Control L. Nope. Let's set this face. Gray pants. Gray pants darker. And so now, look at that. We've got our character. And he's facing backwards. That's pretty cool. Uh, but his shoes, it's a tiny thing. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not too concerned about that. I think I might leave it as is, but you could probably copy and paste that shoe back where it is. So let's go select all, and I'm going to say alt scale to reset. And we have now completed our character.